This hack tip is brought to you by Jack Threads. Hello and welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and this week, we're changing things up just a bit. Shannon's normally taking this episode, I'm filling in, she's out, I'm doing things here in my office. How fun is that? And I'm going to talk a little bit about screen recording in Linux. And maybe I'll get into like the crazy setup that I'm using right now here to do this, but what I'm really talking about is screen recording in terminal screen recording and whatever it may be using bash tcl whatever your your shell of choice may be whether that's a terminal emulator here in a graphical environment i'm here in the new uh 10 what 12.04 uh, version of ubuntu so you know i'm using uh terminal as my emulator here in the top right but uh, otherwise even if you were just in a straight uh, bash terminal without it without gnome or unity or kde or whatever ma window manager you please there is a really awesome way that you can record your keystrokes and then share those with other people to play back for great purposes of like, you know, demonstrating stuff and, and using for uh, training and other cool stuff like that. So this is a really cool uh, utility. It's called TTY Rec. You can see right here, it's just very simply a TTY recorder. TTY being a shell, right? And so very, very easy to install if you're on the Debian systems. It's just a pseudo apt get install tack y and then a tty rec right i've already done that so let's go ahead and get uh, started really basic and simple all we do is issue tty rec to start recording okay that's it it's already going in the background we don't have to do anything and now moment by moment it's going to watch me so watch this i'm going to say echo hello world i'm going to say echo hello world and then i'm going to pipe that into a, a file and then ls tech la and there we go i see here that i have my file and i see that there's another file tty record this is the file that it's actually recording everything that i'm doing into if i cat file i'm going to see there it is what's really great about this is not only does it just get the standard stuff in here but if i do nano i'm going to do tech w for fun um my file it's going to actually be able to record this if it's a uh, curses based environment or whatever have you it's going to be able to record that which is very very useful so uh, I'll say hello world and I like turtles because who doesn't ninja I do right control X save my changes hit enter and then to stop recording all you have to do is type exit if I clear this and LS again you'll see well I got that file I made earlier, but I also have my TTY record. What's great about this is you saw me record for like a minute. If I do LS Tech LA, you'll see my file here is like nothing. It's like four bytes. It's so, or actually, the file, yeah, it's 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 just about nothing, right? So if I uh, if I use TTY play, I can play that file back. So this really small file now I can send to someone else. I can gzip this. I can pipe it to gzip and unzip it in real time to my play player. In fact, you can even record a file to like a shared location, uh, say following up with some of the stuff we've done on Hack5 recently about using SSH FS to do a file system over a network. You could actually be recording something from a screen session in real time to a file that somebody else can use TTY play with one of the options here. I forget which one it is, man TTY play. and they can actually go ahead and play back. It's the tack P option to peek into a file that's in progress. How cool is that? And as you can see, there's a couple other commands like F or plus and S and minus to speed up and play back, uh, speed up and slow down the recording. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. If I TTY play that file I recorded, uh, what was the file name? I forget it was. Okay, so TTY play, and by default, it saves it as TTY record. You can specify a, a file name as well. And so now, what we're going to get, and mind you, this is playing back in real time, and that's the beauty of this, is it's millisecond accurate, meaning as I biff my keystrokes, as you see the cadence, and as I type, and as I see, like, as the waiting for processes to finish and whatnot, it's going to be exactly as I typed it and exactly as I interacted with my shell. So let's hit plus a few times here. We're speeding it up double time now, and you're gonna go ahead and see that uh, in a moment I'm gonna open up Nano, 
And just as I said, I was able to open up a graphical tool in the terminal and record everything into a super, super small file. Don't I need to worry about XVID or, or AVIs or, or whatever encoding uh, whatsoever. It's all just straight ASCII and you can do this with any terminal, which is so great, especially if say you wanna record something that's happening in like a virtual private server that you're SSH'd over into or anything like that. I think it's a really cool tool. It's been around for a while. You can get it over at zeroxcc.net. We'll have all the links in the show notes at hack5.org. And that's also where you can tune in every week to find Shannon and I reminding you to trust your techno lust. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but you hate wasting cash, get this. You could score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day at Jack Threads, the invite-only shopping club for guys. They're serving up street, skate, and surfwear brands at brain-melting prices. Best of all, Hack 5's hooking you up. That's right, skip the wait list and join free at jackthreads.com slash H-A-K-5 to start saving instantly without having to leave the house.